Hey, what's going on? I'm back in my jail cell. I mean, the she shed filming this video here today. A couple of things before I begin this video I want to share. I tried to film this video yesterday afternoon and it was the first time in a long time that I wasn't able to do so. I couldn't get past the introduction. My neighbor was outside raking up some leaves before I started and I saw her. We made eye contact. She probably thought I was coming out here to do drugs. Who the hell knows? But maybe that threw me off my mojo or I don't know. Regardless, I tried to film this yesterday and it just didn't pan out. Hopefully today it will though. Also, today is day number three of Joe fasting. Ooh, going 16 hours between eating. Ah, that's tough. Uh, so hopefully I've got the energy to get through this video. I'm also three days late on closing on flip number four, and there is the possibility that may not happen. That's not for here. That's over on Joe Does Stuff. If you'd like to check out more on that, check out my other channel, Joe Does Stuff. Anywho, none of that's got anything to do with what we're going to be doing here today, and based upon the title of this video, you already know. Folks, I have just recently ran across a whole bunch of prison-related items being sold on Facebook Marketplace. Now, I shouldn't be surprised by this because, you know, people are going to sell anything anywhere, especially on Facebook Marketplace. We've done videos in the past about prison items being sold on eBay and Amazon, so why not do one here today about some interesting prison items being sold on the old Facebook Marketplace. So yeah, that's what we're getting ready to do today, react to some of these items being sold at an astronomical price. And it's with all of that being mentioned that what do you say we go ahead and we do Oh, it's a Whopper. Oh, a Wendy's. Mm. A Junior Bacon Burger. Oh, <laughs> gotta, I gotta air eat the food right now. I sure am hungry. Vuh, head first up into this video. Joe, what you even fasting for? You still look fat. Not for long, not for long. Week number six of the workout, day number three of the fasting, working out every day, running every day as well. It won't be long now. No, sir, it won't. Ooh, stomach's actually starting to growl. The baby's talking. Shh. I've saved a lot of these items that we're going to be talking about in this video. One of them was a dump trailer for $2,000. It was a little beat up, but it's a damn dump trailer. And it's it, it looks like it works for $2,000. And that shit's pending. It was all the way up in New York, 500 miles. I wasn't going to be getting that. But uh, I knew that wouldn't last long. Anywho. Folks, I've got a whole bunch of items saved here, and these are some interesting items. And some of them aren't really the run-of-the-mill type of items that we would talk about over on eBay or Amazon. So let's go ahead and begin first with, well, a run-of-the-mill item, and it's a pair of prison kicks, I think. Folks, we've got this item here referred to as the Prison Orange Nike Cortez 1999. Now, I don't know if these joints are brand new, made to look like they're dingy. Again, I've mentioned in the past, you've got these hundreds of dollars for shoes, brand new, that look like they came out of the trash. They're dirty. These very well could have been worn. Maybe they were worn. If they're used, that just makes them that much more... Uh, special. They've definitely got some creases in them. So again, I, I don't honestly know if this is a new item or not. I would hope that it is a new item though, with a price tag on this pair of kicks, $200. And I just got to be honest, man. I, I, I don't, I don't see the valuation here. Looking at the bottom on the tread, they definitely look like they've been worn around a little bit. Oh, that reminds me of a joke. I hope it lands. I remember when I first saw these pair of shoes and I thought to myself, yo, you know, I remember back when I was a sneakerhead. I'm not no more. But I remember when I was, you know, you want the freshest kicks, no creases. If you got creases in your tennis shoes, it's going to be like, damn, look at them. Look at them. Them creases right there, as a matter of fact. Them joints look like you don't walk a thousand miles. Them joints don't look like, and I would walk 1,000 miles, and I would walk 1,000 more. <laughs> them shits is some bobos for real. Them shits is busted. You paid how much for them joints? Da -da 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 Y'all remember that song? 
Come on, that shit was funny. I even wrote that joke down. Preparing for that improv stand-up career that will never happen. But anyways, they got the creases though. I just don't, I don't see it. This, the person selling this item has five stars on Facebook. That's always a good sign. And they just say, Prison Orange Nike Cortez 211 1999 uh, And then a, a VP number. Picture show wear at toes near top laces. They must be some throwback kicks. If anybody knows, are these actual shoes that you could have gotten in prison back in 1999? If they were brand new without the creases, they'd be all the rave. I, I'd rock them. But not for no $200, though. You know what I could do with $200? $200 is almost a vanity. Let's move on to a more interesting item. Ran across this right here, folks. We got the San Quentin Prison Ankle Irons Perfect Wedding Gift. Folks, this is a legitimate fucking ball and chain right here. Can't even imagine how heavy this thing is. And could you imagine if you were going to get this thing shipped to you? Uh, the cost of shipping for this thing would probably be quite expensive. They want $350 for this item. Not a lot of pictures of it, but enough for you to see that it says San Quentin Death Row, California. Damn, I want this. If any of y'all still love me, you don't love me. If you did, you'd have sent that. But if any of y'all still really rock with me like that, hey, this would be something that I would like. It's only $350. It'll probably cost you exactly that in shipping. Just be mindful though, the person selling this item only has three stars on Facebook, 16 reviews. I'd like to know where those one star reviews came from that knocked him off the five star pedestal. Yep, there Joe go, begging again. Joe always begging for something. I might actually buy this. It's in New York. Uh, I'd rather go to New York to get the dump trailer, but uh, whatever. The details of this thing say San Quentin Prison, California, ankle irons, shackles, the perfect wedding gift. Can you imagine trying to lug this damn thing up into the church? Hey, yo, wait, I still, I got my gift for you right here. I got my gift for you right here. <laughs> it's a ball and chain. It's a ball and chain. I'm sure that would actually go over real well. And you done spent all that money to get that. Moving on to another really interesting item, folks. When I think about flip number four, if that's going to happen, you know, light fixtures inside of the house, this next item could definitely add a little razzle-dazzle and a little flair to the renovation project. We got the Patterson Prison Floodlight right here, folks. This thing is badass. Just like that ball and chain, I'd like this item too. So if you're feeling froggy, and you want to leap out on a limb for me here. It's $250. It's in New Jersey. Can you imagine if this joint works? This is better than any ring light or ring camera you could have. Imagine this is part of the security system on your house. Somebody trying to check the cars in your driveway to see if those doors are unlocked and all of a sudden that light comes on. Sorry, I was inspired by Dumb and Dumber in that moment. Hey, Lloyd, you want to hear the most annoying sound in the world? Kind of. But imagine this on the front of your house. Lighten up them Christmas decorations at Christmas time. This thing's pretty badass, to be honest. I wonder how they got this, where they got this. Were they decommissioning and tearing down the prison? And dude was like, hey, yo, let me get the light fixture, though. $250 they want for this joint. It says, selling my Patterson prison floodlight. The front lens has a crack, but still intact. Bars, uh. The front lens has a crack, but it's still intact. Sort of like my mind. Very heavy, $75 firm. Why the fuck the price say 250 though? Shit, 75? Hey, if you up in New Jersey and you watching this video, cop this for me. I'll come get it. Ooh, the stomach, boy. <laughs> what time is it? 9.59, I can't even eat until 12 o'clock though. All right, folks, let's go ahead and move, 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 folks, let's go ahead and move on to the next item. We got the old Forrest Gump prison issue boots right here, folks. Check these joints out. These shits is rugged. I don't know if they brand new made to look like that. Look at the crease in that joint. That shit looked like a, a, a monotone smiley face. That was whack. Anyways, these joints look like what Forrest Gump was running in right here. They say real vintage state prison boots, best offer, but no on eBay can sell a lot. What? They want $200 for these jimmies right here, man. Look at these shits. 
We can barely see it, but if you look at the back sole, you can see that rub pattern right there to make you know that this dude be dragging the feet when he be walking. God, I used to hate that shit. One of the pet peeves. Siri, take a note. One moment. What do you want it to say? Hey, what the fuck was you doing, Siri? Why did it take you one moment? My biggest pet peeves from prison. Okay, I created a note. What the fuck were you doing, Siri? Why did it take you one moment, my biggest? Pet peeves from prison. Thank you, Siri. That'll do for now. One of my biggest pet peeves from prison was dudes dragging the shower shoes. That doesn't even do justice to the reenactment skit that I'll be doing in that upcoming video. Folks, leave a like if you'd like to see that. Yeah, it definitely looked like dude was dragging the heel uh, with these prison boots. Almost looked like he was ice skating. I should know. I've just recently gotten back into that. I'm trying to play minor league hockey. Who, like, at 40. What? I know, but it almost reminds me of, like, trying to do a hockey stop. When you don't know how to do a real hockey stop, you just kind of, like, put the heel into the ice. This motherfucker got the nerve to ask $200 for these joints, and he wants $5.75 shipping and handling, and it says original vintage state prison boot size 10. If Was it this guy? Was it this guy? I think it was this guy. It was not this guy. Never mind. We'll get to that guy in a little bit. Can you imagine rocking these joints? out here in the world, pulling up to the job in these. And if you do, I commend you. I definitely do. Coming out of prison, all you got's the state boots. You know, you put these joints on with a pair of skinny slacks and a nice little shirt, this shit might actually be a fashion statement. Folks, not only were they snatching the floodlights out of the prison, let's go ahead and move on to this next item right here. They were snatching the prison showers out the prison as well. Again, think of that renovation project, the next flip. We got the floodlight as the dining room light. Oh, it's just a little too bright. And then when you walk into that bathroom with that tile tub surround, and you see this Simmons hyper de pipe Hyper the pipe 64. I ain't talking about the Nintendo neither. Folks, look at this shit right here. They want $135 for this. Got a couple of pictures of it as well. This shit look like it needs it needs some uh some restoration for sure. That's a decent amount of corrosion, maybe some lime scale buildup on this. I don't I don't know, but uh boy, look at that joint. That joint say the hyper the pipe 64 right there on the handle as well. I ain't never been to no prison where you got a handle. I've always been where you gotta push the button. That's it. You're pushing the button, you're getting 10 seconds of water, and then you gotta push it again. Or break you a plastic spoon, wedge that money in there, a little prison hack to keep the water on. Brand new, this motherfucker, $764.94, and it's stainless steel. So maybe this is a deal right here. I'm trying to tell you, I'm thinking about this for the next flip out. Could you imagine if we renovated the next house in all prison type shit? Instead of a screen door, you got a jail cell door and iron bars right there. Could be something, right? Nobody would buy that house. This one caught my eye right here and definitely brought me back. This is a nice little throwback for me. We got the Amped Prison TV. This joint still got the plastic on the screen right there. When you get this shit brand new, boy, you try to keep that plastic up there for as long as you can because if you get a, a fingerprint or a smudge mark or a scratch on that TV, you're going to be mad as a bitch, especially when that joint's going to cost you over $250 altogether. TV, headphones, extension cable for your headphones, surge protector, all the shit you're going to need to be able to operate that TV and no fucking remote. Sometimes they even chop the balls off the TV, taking the speakers out of them. Yeah, yeah, they definitely do that. Uh, but again, I'm, I'm just mostly impressed with the fact that this TV still got the plastic on it. The guy selling this is actually from Virginia. And the description says, this is a like new prison TV. Yes! This truly is what we watch in the Virginia Department of Corrections. It is a 13 inch high definition LED TV. There is no remote control. The TV will be a great gag gift or just a personal television. It would be perfect for your criminal friend or ex-criminal family member. I love the description of this item. Good sales measures right here. If you want to sell it, you sell it. Sell me this pin. Sell me this prison TV. Dude doing it. In the Department of Corrections, your name and DOC number are usually engraved on your TV for an extra 20. I will even engrave your friend's name and number on the TV. I am an artist, 
so it will be done right. Serious inquiries only, please. The TVs are sold for 200 plus in prison, so yes, a family member actually purchased this for 200 plus dollars. I'm only asking $50. A little slap in the face to the family member right there. Uh, the screen protector's still on it. There's not a single scratch on the TV except for the one where, I didn't know the resolution on these things was 1080p. That's interesting to note, that's right there on the back. He says there's not a single scratch on it, and I wanted to say except for your name that was engraved in it. That's a major scratch right there, or whatever was X'd out. It says this one came from Unit 13 Women's Center. Huh. It's a guy who's selling this, so maybe it's his girlfriend who was there. Ah! Is this the one? Yes, this is the one I was looking for. This is the guy. I, I must have been interested in seeing, you know, hey, why is it coming out of a women's prison? It's a dude posting it. Was it your girlfriend? And maybe it was. I see that this guy had updated his cover photo and says, yeah, I was there with her. Ahem? Amen? Is that what that says? Ahem? Um, and it's a picture of both of their thumbs right here. So maybe it was, you know, you were there with her while she was down. Folks, it's the comments that do it the most for me on this post. Forget the thumbs. They do look a little strange. Somebody actually commented on this picture and said, y'all have some ugly ass thumbs. <laughs> they do though. They do. <laughs> I concur. $50 for that TV is not a bad deal. We'll move on to another prison TV right here. And folks, that last TV is what they sell nowadays. I even thought about doing a video, the history of television sold on prison commissary, because folks, they certainly have come a long way. We go back to before the 13 inch flat screen TV, all clear. You had the 13 inch bubble butt, the big bubble television. This thing took up your entire living space. If you had to put it on a chair, on a desk, on a, on a shelf, you ain't have no room for nothing else if you had this TV, but if you had this TV, this bitch was like having a big screen. Rare prison game TV. What are you trying to say, prison's a game? It's not. They want $250 for this joint. They trying to get everything that they paid exactly that for this television back, and I ain't even mad at them for that. Uh, now really, <laughs> they had this thing listed at $500 at first. They've cut the price in half. It's only been listed a week ago, uh, so they definitely ain't trying to wait around on this thing. All they say about it is it works. You know, with every item that was shared in this video, I've wanted to reach out to these people not only to maybe buy these items, but more importantly to ask, hey, what's the story with you? Did you just come home? How did you acquire these items? What you mean you got the TV out the woman's prison? What's the story behind that? And maybe I'll do so. Folks, that's all I got with this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. And if you did so, please leave a like and a comment letting me know exactly what you thought about this. And as always, until next time, enjoy life, the free world. Never take a moment for granted and make the most of every day. Peace!